In this session, we'll look at a quick tip for simulating a background color when hatching a Civil 3D corridor model. On my screen, I have a drawing that represents a small intersection design. This is a corridor model I've created. We'll look at this in just a second. For right now, I'd like to focus on this polyline. In this polyline, I have applied a traditional AutoCAD hatch pattern. If I select that hatch and we look at the contextual ribbon, we can see how the hatch was built. As you can see, it has got a pattern applied. If we look over here, I'm using the herringbone pattern. Just below this, we can see the color applied to the herringbone, 51. Note the scale here, 0.5. And when we're creating traditional AutoCAD hatch, we can apply a background color, which that's been used here, 47. This background color allows us to create almost a secondary hatch, so we can create even more variations using the out-of-the-box hatch patterns. Now, I've been asked, if it's possible to hatch our corridors using a similar look. And we can do that. However, we have to go about it a slightly different way. When we hatch corridors, we hatch them using the link codes in the code set style. Let me mention, if you've never hatched a corridor before, I have created a video that will walk you through the detailed steps. I will leave a link to that video in the description for this one. For right now, though, the shape style that we apply to the link codes can have a hatch pattern assigned to it, but it doesn't contain that background hatch or that additional setting. So let me show you how we can simulate this look. I'm gonna start by panning over. Over to the right, you can see the assemblies that I've used to build this corridor. I'm going to select this top one, and from the ribbon, I'll click to bring up the tool palette. And here you can see the lane that I've selected for my roadway, lane super elevation AOR. I will select this, and then I'm going to right click and I'll choose help. This will bring up the documentation associated with this lane. Now, I'd like to see the link codes that are being used in this case. So I'm going to drag all the way down to the bottom. And here in the coding diagram, I can see the top link here is labeled as L1. I've got another link below that, L2. You can see there's additional links here as well. For right now, I'm interested in link 1 and link 2. If I roll this up, I can see link 1 has a couple codes, top and pave. And link 2 has a code of pave 1. Knowing that, let's close this and this. What if I was to hatch this lower level link using that solid fill, color 47, and then hatch the upper link using that herringbone pattern, color 51? From a plan view or a top-down view, that would give me the same look as having that background color. Let's zoom out and we'll pan this over. To hatch this corridor, I'm going to start by selecting it. And then from the corridor properties, here on the codes tab, I can see the current settings that are applied to my points, links, and shapes in the code set style. Now, seeing the settings is nice, but I can't edit the settings here. If we look right here, we can see the code set style that's applied to this corridor. This is where I'll make the changes. I'll come down and click the edit button, and then I'll expand the links. We'll drag this down. So these are the two link codes that I'm interested in. Remember, pave is at the top. Pave 1 is just below it. I am going to slide down here to this column called Material Area Fill Style. And for that pave 1 link, that lower level link, I will click and I will select the style that I created called Autodesk Pave. And just to give you a look, I'm going to click the Edit button. Not a lot to these. The shape style has a name. If I go to display, you can see I'm saying from a plan view, I only wish to see the fill. I wish to use color 47, same background color that we saw in the AutoCAD hatch. And I would like that to be a solid fill hatch. Let's click OK and OK. So that hatch pattern is applied to pave one. Now let's look at the link above it. Here, I do not yet have a shape style to select, so I'm going to create a brand new one. I'll choose Create New. Here on the Information tab, I'll give this style a name. I'll call it ADSK Brick Pave. Let's go to the Display tab, and I'll say that in the plan view, I do not wish to see the outline. I do want to see the fill. I would like the color of that fill to be 51, same as the AutoCAD hatch we saw earlier. Now, note that I can apply the properties of this hatch using layer as well. I'm just using color because it's faster in this case. For the pattern itself, I'll come down and click on that, and then I will choose predefined. 
This allows me to select from the AutoCAD patterns. I'll choose that same herring bone. I'll click OK, and we'll set the scale to 0.5. Once again, same as what we saw with the AutoCAD pattern. I will then click OK. You can see I've got these stacked hatch patterns here. I'll click OK, OK, and then we'll rebuild the corridor. Let's back up a little, and I'll do a quick regen. Now, it's important to note that in this example, I'm working with pavement. That said, with a little effort, this technique can work for any component of any linear design modeled using a corridor. Examples might be erosion control blanket, seating areas, aggregate, sod, pervious pavement, milling and overlay areas. You are only limited by your creativity.